Hello everyone. In today's class, we will see basic introduction of modal analysis as well as we will simulate the simple plate using the modal analysis in the ANSYS workbench. So let's get started. So first of all, before starting this video, uh, I hope that you know the basic uh, concept of the vibration and the related term related terms which are uh, to the vibration like frequency, amplitude, damping, free vibration, forced vibration, then what is the damping factor, then the resonance, natural frequencies. So I hope uh, all these terms you are aware already. So we'll uh, not waste the time on these things. Uh, if you have any theoretical issues related to this, then you can go through any good material so that your concept will be clear. So we'll start with our uh, video that what is the exactly structural vibration and dynamics means and what is the uh, role of simulation in the structural vibration and dynamics so we know that vibration may cause very serious problem when structure is not carefully designed for its dynamic integrity so it may leads to very uh, hazardous problem vibration can cause a mal malfunction or breakdown of machine that exhibit unbalance uh, and the misalignment also so vibration can cause massive failure like collapse of bridge also from the picture you can see that there is a collapse of bridge and uh, here we can say that one of the fastener is uh, failed due to the uh, vibration so these are the disastrous effect due to the vibration and being a design engineer we must uh, uh, we must remove all these things in our in from our component so what is the role of simulation software in the vibration Simulation plays an important role in our ability to understand a structure's dynamic behavior. So before put any object in actual use, simulation can capture dynamic characteristics of any object. Means before uh, going to actual production of any object, we can simulate it in the simulation software and we can observe the behavior. So according to that, we can change the design of the particular object or the part. So there are three main types of pro uh, problem in the structural analysis and the dynamic analysis. So first is model analysis where function of t is equals to zero. This is the free vibration state where uh, the force act once and it is removed or will stay there. Uh, it is not dynamic condition. The second is frequency response analysis where function of t is equals to f sin omega t and third is transient response analysis where the function of t is arbitrary where f is the force omega is the circular frequency and t is the time so in today's class we will focus on the model analysis and now see what is the model analysis gives us in model analysis sets out to study of the inherent vibration characteristics of structure in short i will like to tell you that in model analysis we find out the natural frequencies and will observe the behavior of the object at this natural frequencies in various state what is first of all we should know what is mean by the natural frequencies natural frequency also known as eigen frequency is the frequency at which a system tends to oscillate in the absence of any driving or da damping force means there will be no external forces on the body once uh, uh, we have applied on the force we will remove it and it will try to oscillate about itself at the natural frequency so this is the natural frequency and the normal modes and shape what does it define the motion pattern of system oscillating at its natural frequency is called the normal mode see these are the total five natural frequencies with us and the behavior at different natural frequency of the object with us so this behavior these different shapes is nothing but normal modes and what frequency they are giving this normal mode is nothing but a natural frequency so what is the use of or what is the significance of this particular uh, thing means if we know the natural frequency of the object and if we know the normal mode and shape of the object what we can get from this particular thing we'll see in the next significance of model analysis in short using model analysis we find natural frequency and normal mode of any object we can find out the natural frequency as well as the normal mode when any object vibrate at frequency equivalent to its natural frequency its vibration amplitude increases significantly this could lead to irreparable changes so once we 
rather irreparable damages so when we know natural frequency we can control it by adding mass or changing the material if we know the natural frequency of any object and this natural frequency is very high so we can control this natural frequency by adding the mass or by changing the material so that we can increase the stiffness in short by knowing the mode shape we may know how design will behave we can add stiffness stiffness to fortify our design for better operation means by knowing the in which manner it will uh, showing its uh, direction or in which uh, shape it is going after the application of mode shape we can remove that uh, shape from the uh, its behavior by adding the stiffeners or uh, fortify our design so this particular data which we get from the model analysis first we know the natural frequency then we know the mode shapes then using this model analysis we will help in performing in force vibration means we'll see how the uh, model will work uh, when the forces are actually or continuously or dynamically acting on the particular body so how to perform vibration related problem in ANSYS in ANSYS first we will prepare the thing for the model analysis uh, which we have already in the uh, toolbox then we will prepare it for the harmonic response for harmonic response we will import complete data from the model analysis and in hand harmonic response we will get the frequencies various frequencies for this particular forces means in the model analysis analysis we need not to apply the force but in the harmonic response we will see what happened after the forces are applied so we will see both the things in detail and we have the problem for it see we are considering the simple plate which we can see which are having the some dimensions and having the thickness of 3 mm we are fixing that particular plate at the left side and the input we are considering that we have the material structural steel and the Young's modulus of elasticity 200 gigapascal Poisson's ratio 0.3 and density 7850 kg per meter cube so our target from this plate or from this uh, particular simulation is to find first five natural frequencies when we fixed at uh, other end and we'll find out the normal modes for that particular frequency the only thing we will prepare in this particular tutorial for the, for the model analysis in part 2 we will take this thing to the harmonic response so we'll see how it works in the ANSYS software now once we come to the ANSYS workbench drag model into the project schematic and rename it simple plate we need not to disturb the engineering data because the structural steel is default material with the proper mechanical properties we will go to the geometry and double click modeler first we need to change the units make it into the millimeter select the xy plane and now start drawing it it is very simple plate which we have seen so it will take very less time so draw the rectangle from this point P draw the rectangle the dimensions are in centimeter so we have to convert it into the millimeter this particular length is of uh, 40 centimeter means it is 440 centimeter means 400 mm and then this dimension is of 20 centimeter means it is 200 mm so we have given the exact dimension 40 centimeter versus uh, 20 centimeter now draw the circles the uh, go to the draw then go to the circle there are three circles first we will draw this circle we will give the dimensions properly or rather I will say I, we need to constrain it properly so this distance from here it is 100 mm which is exactly at the center then radius of this circle is 5 centimeter means 50 mm then 
this particular dis distance from here from calculation or from the diagram we can say that it is uh, 10 that is 10 centimeter means 100 mm so this circle is properly constrained now go to the draw again select the circle and draw two small circles uh, the dimension of these circles is each of one centimeter one centimeter means 10 mm it is 5 centimeter from the top this distance is 5 centimeter means it is 50 mm this distance is of 5 centimeter means this is 50 mm and it is 100 m it is 100 mm from this end so we'll select the horizontal dimension this is 100 mm this is 100 mm so we have given the almost all the dimension we'll try to give one more so we can see whether it is over constrained or not and once I try to this it is given me the warning that this is the over constraining the object so right click and cancel so the perfect dimensions are given now go to the modeling go to the extrude and uh, apply this sketch we have sketch, sketch is applied now give the thickness to the plate which is of about 5 mm so thickness is provided and ask for the generate so we have the plate with us and now we will perform the model analysis on this particular plate we are considering the 3d object so we'll use the 3d element in the ANSYS mechanical so now go to the ANSYS mechanical now once you come to the ANSYS mechanical geometry and the coordinate system is with checked mark so go to the mesh and you can now generate the mesh so mesh is generated for the 3d element uh, even if we want to resize it we can resize it or we can make it fine as well we just make it fine so all the 3d elements are generated here now go to the model insert the fix support fix support for this particular side and apply it now support is applied and in model analysis I, I have already told you we will find only the different natural frequencies and how this on this particular natural frequency this particular plate behaves behaves means its uh, shape how its shape is changing for that particular frequency this is nothing but normal mode or mode shapes so now go to the solution and rather we'll solve this particular problem because we are in a model analysis so after the solving we can see that we have the different six frequencies 28 Hertz 108 153 320 424 and 628 Hertz so for this particular frequencies different different frequencies now we will find the its mode shapes so now go to the insert first ask the total deformation set mode 1 then again go to the insert go to the total deformation but here make mode 2 because it now it will consider the second frequency now again go to the deformation here make it mode 3 now again go to the deformation this is 4 we are again asking for the total deformation this is 5 and 
the final is 6 so ask for the solution now observe carefully what happened here I would like to show you what exactly going on here now what is exactly mean by model analysis we will see it by the visually see any definition can't explain you that much in the depth but when we see it visually we can easily understand the things so now see carefully what is the meaning of model analysis what is the thing which we want from the model analysis now first total deformation is for 28 Hertz this is the first particular frequency we have uh, means we have selected and for that particular frequency see the behavior see the behavior of the plate this is the mode shape for 20 Hertz frequency your particular plate will changes its shape like this this is the main motto behind the modal analysis so this is the first result we have obtained for the 20 Hertz natural frequency now we'll see for the next total deformation in next total deformation the frequency changes to 108 Hertz the deformation is around 50 mm and now see how it is behaving now it is twisting it is showing the twisting movement at 108 Hertz frequency means at every frequency it will show its different behavior now it is for the 152 Hertz at this it is showing its different behavior so in this manner we have to consider our object and now see this is the 328 Hertz at 320 Hertz your particular object will behave like this its amplitude is like this uh, 54 is the maximum displacement from the original position so this is the things which we have obtained now this is for 424 particular uh, 424 Hertz it is uh, showing this type of shape so these are the mode shapes now we have how many mode shapes we have we have six mode shapes and how many frequencies we have we have the six frequencies so this is the main motto behind the model analysis to find out the different uh, shapes at a different frequency of the object by applying some proper boundary condition so in this way we have concluding our uh, class related to model analysis in the next class we will see how it will be performed in the harmonic response when we apply the load on this particular plate so thank you very much in next class we will see the harmonic response of this particular model analysis